Well, hello everybody, and welcome to another iPhone app review. Today, I'm going to be looking at Calengu, which is my app of choice for accessing and modifying my Google Calendar, i.e., all my events um, and all my tasks in in the calendar that I use uh, with Google. I can use on this app. I'm really excited to tell you about this app, and I'm going to give you a quick tour. And show you a few of the ways that uh, I like to use it uh, on when I'm on the run and on the on the go. So this is the screen that it comes up with when you first log in, depending on uh, how, how you set it. And I'll show you how to do that later on. Um, you can see it's pretty pretty simple. Um, this little um, sync icon here basically just lets you know when Calendar is syncing uh, with your Google Calendar. Um, you can. I, I have mine set to auto sync as soon as I open the app, so I get the most up to date um, calendar. You can have it uh, sync uh, whatever option that, that, that you want under settings, which I'll, I'll show you in a second. Up here we have our all day items, so items that that you um, have put down as all day. Uh, you can basically see them at a glance, and obviously we have our calendar here. Um, and I can just basically access it by uh, scrolling my finger down the screen like so. Um, pretty simple. Um, as the day goes, you'll have a little red bar that continues to rise and move and to let you know whereabouts in the day that you are. Now, to um, I'll just quickly start down the bottom here and I'm going to work my way through these little uh, options here and just tell you really quick how it all works and um, how to use it. So by tapping on today, it basically just takes you to today. Um, pretty easy, pretty uh, simple, but it's sometimes when you're um, you know trying to put in different events and you're all over the place, you know it's a really quick way to get to uh, where you want to go. Uh, this icon with the, the double arrow allows you to find a date um, and obviously you can just uh, scroll your finger up like so and it'll move like that and you can basically find everything uh, that, that you want to do. If you wish to type in the date you just tap on keys and it'll allow you to type in the date but I'm going to go ahead and go back to my calendar, tap on today and it should take me back to today. Down here we have the a weekly view. So if I tap on that, that's a weekly view. The next one is the monthly view. And here we have the uh, all day items. So um, these are the items that I've, I've, I've put down as all day items and they're, uh, they're the items that I have uh, times allocated to. So it's pretty quick and easy to, um, at a glance, navigate through all your uh, Google Calendar um, tasks and, uh, and appointments. Now the final tab down here with a T is is for tasks. Now you I don't know whether you use a tasks or not but it, I do and it's quite useful. Um, basically it allows you to access all your, your, your different um, task items and lists and all the items uh, are available and you basically can just scroll through and, and tick them off um, and, and down the bottom there's also an archive of all the ones you've already ticked off. So that's pretty cool and obviously you can edit and, uh, and add uh, tasks as, as you wish as well. So I'm going to go ahead and head back to the calendar. Now really quickly if you want to add uh, an event um, you just tap the plus button in the top right hand corner and it allows you to add an event so I might just uh, type in shoot video for example and go back to the event details now you can see here that it allows me all all the options that uh, it would if I was using Google Calendar but obviously in an optimized mobile format so I can um, change the duration how long the event's going to be. I can make it an all-day event. Um, I can turn it off and set the time. Now in Google, at this point, in Google, the Google mobile app under calendar, uh, to my knowledge, you are unable to uh, actually create an all-day event or it's very difficult to. Um, and I've kind of tested it out and researched it online and I haven't been able to do it yet. So um, that is one reason why I use uh, Calendoo over the Google uh, Calendar a mobile app. 
as I scroll down, um, it gives me all the other options of, um, of Google Calendar, adding reminders, recurring events, um, adding attendees, um, just very, very cool stuff. So I'm going to cancel that and head back. And, you know, that's pretty much uh, the app in, in a nutshell. Um, a few things I really like about this app, which I'll tell you, th tell you real quick. Uh, firstly, you know, you have offline access. So what this app does is it um, saves all the information that, uh, that it, the latest sync um, yields and it allows you to access it offline. So if I had zero internet, I'll, st I'll still be able to access it. I'll still be able to add events. Um, and the beautiful thing about Kalangu is it actually then resyncs next time I'm online, um, which is, you know, awesome. And, and a lot of the other apps, um, you know, are challenged in doing that, um, but it's quite seamless and quite easy on uh, Kalangu. And I've been a big fan of it actually since I've started using it. I've also, um, this is actually not the default view. I've, I've customized this, this view. There are a ton of options that you can do um, under settings. Uh, I might just show you real quick. If you um, tap on settings, it just allows you to edit almost everything. Um, the visibility, the colors, um, badges, um, you know, when it syncs, all, all these different options. It's got so many options. It actually took me probably about 30 to 40 minutes just messing around with the options to find the um, the outlay that I actually like and use so um, you know previously you could just have it so it wasn't locked and um, you can choose different fonts up here you can choose different sizes up here um, you can you can really um, customize it quite a fair bit which I was impressed with the other beautiful thing about this um, app is it's just you know really easy to look at and really easy to view and there's just kind of no fuss um, you know exactly where you want to go every single icon here has it has a distinct purpose um, and you know you just log on type in what you want to do and uh, and you can log off and it'll you know uh, sync it the next time you log on one of the other ways that I like to use it is doing brain dumps at the start of the day um, of all the things that I want to do and I'll just continue to I'll tap on the all day icon if I know that um, there's not a certain time and I'll just continue to add items um, you know even if I don't have internet I'll just you know pump out all the items and then I can go through the day and and sort them out as I need as I need to some days you know you just have things on your mind or some nights you have things on your mind that you just you've got to write down and um, one of the great things about the app is I can just, you know, dump it all in in this one place and not worry about being connected to the internet or not, um, and it'll it'll just sync it for me. Um, I can also do the same with um, my tasks. If I have certain tasks on a certain list that I want to do, not not related to the day, I can just do a brain dump, um, and it, you know, it just can, it automatically syncs that with the Google Tasks. Uh, the next time that you log on so you know double thumbs up for the, for those options and, and features so that, I mean that's pretty much it um, the only downside uh, as I was saying before is the I think I think actually I think there's too many settings um, there's too many options and uh, when you there's an advanced option to actually you know uh, supercharge what you can change and I think, I mean, it's very, very good to have uh, options and choice. Um, but for, for new people um, who are just going to come in and use the default um, default view, it may not be um, as good as, you know, what they could potentially do. But there's a lot of kind of, a lot of messing around to get to that. So that's probably the only downside. Um, it's updated regularly. So, um, you know, it's always going to keep uh, in, in uh, sync with what Google's doing and, and the changes they're making with the, uh, the Google Calendar. And overall, you know, I'm a big fan of this app. I'm going to give it a 94%. Um, it's money well spent. And, uh, I, you know, I never have to worry about slow loading times if I'm on the internet trying to access Google Calendar. Um, this is su superbly optimized uh, to utilize and access that. Um, haven't had any problems with it and uh, yeah I think uh, it's definitely one of the top uh, calendar apps thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next app review